Greetings, and welcome to the 2020 Helen Hayes Awards virtual celebration. Thank you for joining with us here tonight from wherever you are. In addition to the nominees here in this virtual room, we have a community room filled with friends, family, colleagues, and the greater theater community that wanted to be present and support these nominees at this time. Let's get a look at our friends and colleagues waving. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> this unprecedented time has us all looking to connect in different ways. I'm going to introduce Amy Austin, the president and CEO of Theatre Washington, who would like to share a greeting and a message to the community. Hello, everyone. My name is Amy Austin, she, hers, and welcome to the 36th annual Helen Hayes Awards. They are being presented virtually during a time when the, when the theater community is suffering from the loss of performance in the theaters, loss of work, particularly for independent theater makers, and loss of jobs and in institutions. We want to affirm the heightened need for equity during this time, equity, anti-racism, and anti-oppression in our theater institutions, and for our Black, Indigenous, and people of color artists. We want to recognize the need for change and community change. We want to recognize the need for change is not new, but long overdue. And the way forward is often not one that requires more time or learning, but simply trusting that those who are most harmed by oppression and inequity know exactly what changes need to happen. The time is now to simply listen and support each other in making the very changes that too many have been asking for, for too long. Mm -hmm. But we take the time to celebrate the collective and collaborative work of the community. We wanna thank the foundations, individuals and sponsors who have supported the Helen Hayes Awards. We're celebrating for the first time without somebody very special. Our longtime board chair, theater booster and lover, Victor Shargai. We thank Craig Pascal, Victor's husband, and the family of Victor Shargai, Eric and Heidi Muscoff, Frida Evan and Sarah Zing Eisenberg, and Sandy Hoffman. We want to thank our community sponsor, Andrew R. Ammerman, our chairs, John and Meg Hauge, Monty Hoffman, the Share Fund, Vassar Browerman Group, Myrna Fawcett, Alan Tavada and Will Stevenson, Michael Burke and Carl Smith, Scott Abelman and Debbie Schrager, and the host committee and board of directors of Theater Washington. Mm -hmm. The Office of, Te of Cable, Television, Film, Music and Entertainment in the District of Columbia, led by Director Angie Gates, and the District of Columbia Arts and Humanities Commission, led by Acting Executive, uh, Acting Executive Director Haran Sarika Braun. Before we begin, we want to acknowledge that up until now, we have adjudicated and announced performance awards that were labeled for and limited to actors and actresses in a way that was exclusive and harmful to trans, gender, non-conforming, and non-binary members of our community. So although this year's awards were still adjudicated through a binary lens, we are presenting them in a gender-inclusive format beginning with tonight's outstanding, no, not beginning tonight, in a gender inclusive uh, format. All 16 performance categories, one of which is tonight, were gendered and will be integrated together uh, for the first time this year. And we apologize for the pain we've caused up until this year. And we invite you all to learn more about how we arrived here and further details about our action moving forward at theaterwashington.org. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. We would like to introduce our special guests here today, the nominees for Outstanding Lead Performer in a Musical Hayes category. We will do a brief round of introductions. Please tell us your name, your pronouns, the name of the show and theater you're nominated for. As a way to celebrate first time nominees, mention if this is your first nomination. And if it's not your first time being nominated, say one word to describe how you're feeling tonight. And when you're done, I'll pass it along to the next nominee. Here, I'll demonstrate. 
Hello, my name is Frank Britton. My pronouns are he, him, his. I'm a co-presenter today, and I'll pass it on to Naomi. Hi, my name is Naomi Jacobson. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm a co-presenter um, along with Frank. And again, when you're done, I'll pass it along to the next nominee. So first, I'll pass it along to Felicia Curry. Hi, everybody. I'm Felicia Curry, she, her, hers. And I was nominated tonight for Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus, the <laughs> musical at the Kennedy Center. Um, and I am feeling amazingly amazing. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Felicia. <laughs> the amazing Felicia Curry. I'll pass it along to Rhett Guter. Hi, everyone. My name is Rhett Guter. My pronouns are he, him, his. I am nominated tonight for um, Singing in the Rain at the only theater center. And uh, this is the first time I've ever been nominated for a Hayes Award. So thank you, guys. Thank you, Red. I'll pass it along to Nova Y. Payton. Hello, everyone. My name is Nova Y. Payton. She, hers. I was nominated for Ain't Misbehaving at Signature Theater. And I am just so excited to be in this category with all of these special, talented people. I love you all. Mwah. Thank you, Nova. I'll pass it along to Gregory Mayhew. Hi, I'm uh, Gregory Mayhew. Uh, he, him, his. And uh, I'm nominated for Only Theater Center's production of Once. And this is my first nomination this year. Thank you, Gregory. I'll pass it along to Melinda Kathleen Reese. Hi, everyone. I'm Melinda Kathleen Reese, uh, she, her, and I am nominated for also Once the Musical at Only Theatre Center, and it is also my first nomination. Yay. Thank you, Melinda. I'll pass it along to Daniel J. Maldonado. Hi, everyone. My name is Daniel J. Maldonado. He, him, his. Uh, I am nominated for Newsies at Arena Stage. And uh, this is also my first nomination. So very honored. Bravo. Thank you, Daniel. I'll pass along to Awa Salseka. Hi there. My name is Awa Salseka, pronouns she, her, hers. And I was nominated for Into the Woods at Ford's Theater. And I am feeling so happy to be here with all of these wonderful people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Awa. I'll pass along to Kevin McAllister. Uh, hey, hey, uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Kevin McAllister, he, him, his. Uh, and I was nominated for Ain't Misbehaving at Signature Theater. And I am feeling more amazingly amazinger than Felicia. <laughs> oh, amazingly amazing night. Thank you, Kevin. Mm -hmm. I'll pass it along to Erin Weaver. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Erin Weaver, uh, she, her, hers. Uh, I was nominated for the production of Newsies at Arena Stage and I'm feeling grateful. Oh, lovely. Thank you, Erin. I'll pass along to Mason Alexander Park. Hi, everyone. My name is Mason Alexander Park. Uh, they, them, theirs. I was nominated for Cabaret at the Only Theater Center, and this is my first Helen Hayes nomination. So I am feeling very happy to be here. Oh, thank you, Mason. We all want to Frank, you're other parties in these projects for interlanguage. Oh, Naomi. I'm going to take it. We would also <laughs> want to acknowledge our other partners in these projects. First Chair Interpreted Productions for providing American Sign Language interpretation and Creative Video of Washington for providing technical audio and visual coordination. Welcome all. How you doing there? You think? Uh, can you can you hear me? Can you can can, can, can yeah, 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 yeah I can hear me. Good. Oh, okay, okay then. I'm back. <laughs> At this time, we would like to highlight each nominee for outstanding lead performer in the musical Haze. In preparing for these calls, we were able to collect highlights from the biographies of the nominees or tributes from a colleague, mentor, collaborator whom the nominee recommended that spoke to their work this year. <laughs> For Felicia Curry's nominated performance in the Kennedy Center's production of Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus, the musical, the composer of the musical, Deborah Wicks La Puma, had this to say. They wrote, Felicia Curry is rightfully a living legend of Washington, D.C. theater. She does this by bringing 100% of her heart, energy, depth, and talent to every role, every rehearsal, every performance. Working with her and hearing her sing my songs has been one of the greatest joys of my life. 
and as everything she does is so amazingly amazing, I think she needs her own Helen Hayes Awards category, Outstanding <laughs> Performance by Felicia Curry. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> For Rhett Guter's nominated performance at Only Theaters, uh, Only Theater Center's Ooh, production me. of Singing in the Rain, that got me. Only Theater Center's managing director, Debbie Ellinghouse, had this to say. They wrote, We all know that Rhett Guter has out of this world dance moves, but you may not know that he also goes out of his way to make people feel special. In between two shows on a busy Saturday, Rhett took the time to talk to a young girl who wanted to interview him for a school project. Despite being exhausted from starring in a show that required him to perform every dance style ever invented and also do it in the rain, he talked to her for a very long time, sharing funny stories and a few magic tricks. Rhett's unmatched charm, talent, generosity, and kind heart enlivens our OTC family, and we're thrilled that he's nominated tonight. For Nova Y. Payton's nominated performance in Signature Theater's production of Ain't Misbehavin', their dear friend, Kevin McAllister, had this to say. They wrote, Nova, no last name needed, a living icon in DMV theater, a woman whose artistry is untouchable and yet lives humbly among us mere mortals, a mother whose love, whose, a mother first, whose love of God is never in question. A scene partner who holds you together on stage when she knows your world is falling apart backstage. My heart, my friend, my ex-wife, my forever, my supernova, Peyton. <laughs> For Gregory Mayhew's nominated performance in Only Theatre Center's production of Once, the director, Marsha Milgram Dodge, had this to say. They wrote, Greg's performance as the guy, well, simply put, completely knocked me out. He clearly earned his romantic leading man status with this role. He acts with his whole heart and has the canny ability to transform fully into the character he's playing. And he plays guitar with equal parts of technique and deep feeling. Greg navigated the guy's journey fearlessly and without pity from a desperate, disconnected street musician to a complicated, enlightened, and hopeful artist. And Greg led our company by example, with his dedication to craft, his easy good humor, and his profound love of his community. It's been my privilege to be part of Greg's creative journey. From our ragtime to 110 in the shade to once, Greg is skillful, authentic, truthful, ferocious and beautiful, inside and out. Congrats. For Melinda Kathleen Reese's nominated performance in Only Theater Center's production of Once, the director, Marsha Milgram Dodge, had this to say. They wrote, Melinda Kathleen Reese is a fiercely talented young artist whose uniqueness is rooted in her deeply felt humanity. Playing the girl in Once was a powerful marriage of role to performer. In this beautiful love story of music, connection and inspiration, alchemy occurred. A magical process of transformation in the relationship between Melinda and her leading man, Greg Mayhew. Melinda gave herself fully to this role with never a false moment. The ache and joy we felt in the final moments of the story was made palpable because of Melinda's ability to transcend the girl's pain into hopeful song. Congrats. For Daniel J. Maldonado's nominated performance in Arena Stage's production of Newsies, the director, Molly Smith, had this to say. They wrote, how lucky was I to direct Daniel in Arena Stage's production of Newsies? A true triple threat, a leading man who not only has a knockout voice, but is a wonderful actor and dancer too. Rare, 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 creative, full of ideas and deeply on authentic on stage and off. Daniel is a rock star. Congrats, Daniel. For Awa Salseka's nominated performance in Ford's Theater's production of Into the Woods, their dear friend, Ines Nasara, had this to say. They wrote, Awa is by far my favorite storyteller in DC. This isn't just because she's fam. Her performances are always nuanced with specificity, comedy, and heart. She has a confidence that's captivating and pulls you in. I wish I had a fraction of those qualities she displays, which are divine. Congrats. <laughs> 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 
For Kevin McAllister's nominated performance in Signature Theater's production of Ain't Misbehaven, their dear friend and castmate Nova Y. Payton had this to say. They wrote, Kevin is such a joy to know and work with. His love and dedication for the arts will inspire anyone to want to do more. He is someone that I have grown to depend on on stage and off. I am forever grateful and I cherish the moments we get to create together. Congrats, Kevin. <laughs> For Erin Weaver's nominated performance in Arena Stage's production of Newsies, their dear friend Nova Y. Payton had this to say about Erin. They wrote, Erin is one of the smartest and most dedicated human beings I know. The work she puts in on character development and storytelling shows that her work ethic is top notch. Being in the rehearsal hall and being able to share a dressing room with her, I can honestly say that I've learned so much. Congrats, Erin. For Mason Alexander Park's nominated performance in Only Theatre Center's production of Cabaret, the artistic director, Jason Lowiff, had this to say. They wrote, finding the MC for any production of Cabaret is devilishly hard more so when the creative team is already stacked with some of the most dynamic artists in musical theater today. So when our casting director brought in Mason Alexander Park for the role, every one of us involved thought we'd hit the lucky gold mine. Mason is a tireless and tirelessly creative artist. Their work behind the scenes creating the role, even their own makeup, turned into one of the most extraordinary performances I've seen on the only theater center stage. They are a magnetic, incandescent performer and offstage, a generous mensch who inspires me with creativity and joy. Cabaret is only the start of what I hope will be a long professional relationship with Mason. Thank you. How all the nominees displayed immense creativity and skill this year, it's now time to reveal the first recipient of the 2020 award. This is gonna be much easier for me this time, I think. Uh, oh, and the first recipient for Outstanding Lead Performer in the Musical Haze is Melinda Kathleen Reese, once only theater center. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my parents are downstairs losing their minds. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Um, everyone on this call, all of the nominees tonight, you are royalty to me. And whether I've met you or no, you have taught me so, so, so much. Thank you for doing what you do. You have inspired me deeply. Um, oh, there's my parents. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, uh, only thank you so much for believing in me and uh, taking a chance on me. The cast of Once, my bandmates, I love you all so much. Anyone who has ever worked with Greg Mayhew knows how lucky they are. You are incredible. I adore you. Um, uh, my pa pa beautiful parents, I love you both. And uh, Marsha, thank you for being a fearless leader and taking everything that was beautiful about all of us and just putting it in that show. What a special experience. And our beautiful stage managers, uh, Karen, the whole crew at once. And Chris, thank you for being such a wonderful leader with us. And thank you for sharing the stage with us. It was such a joy. Um, thank you, Theater Washington. This is amazing. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Congrats again, Melinda. As was mentioned earlier, the move towards gender inclusive awards mean there are two recipients in the category. And it's time to reveal who is the second recipient of the 2020 award. Opening the envelope. Uh, and the second recipient for outstanding lead performer in a musical haze is Mason Alexander Park Cabaret Olney Theater Center. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me, my family did the exact same thing. So. <laughs> um, I, I assume they'll probably come in in the next 20 seconds. Uh, I'll make this fast. <laughs> um, oh, here it is. They got it. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> um, <laughs> 
<laughs> I am, first of all, I would like to, to say how honored I am to be just recognized by the DC theater community for the wonderful work that everybody put into our production of Cabaret. It was a beautiful show, a beautiful experience. And um, obviously there is something to uh, to be said about working with Gregory Mayhew since he just seems to be handing out all the LNA's awards to everybody. So thank you, Greg Mayhew for this. Um, <laughs> uh, it is definitely not lost on me, the significance of receiving this award in the first year of Theater Washington and the Helen Hayes Award switching over to a non-binary format for acting categories, which will hopefully continue just to push the needle forward so that in the right direction for other major awards programs to start to follow suit. Um, inclusivity and representation are paramount in the normalization of what society deems as otherness, and in my case, queerness. Um, and I think that we just need to continue to give power and voice and funding to allow marginalized artists to tell not only their own stories, but, but stories that aren't solely focused on identity or trauma. Um, this is a monumental moment for, for me, for the Helen Hayes Awards, for the only theater and any queer person that I know that has ever felt you know, boxed in or unable to see themselves fully represented in our art form, because you can break out of that and you can find the love and the success that you deserve uh, and that we all deserve. Um, so I, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited. I'm very honored uh, seeing yourself on stage and on screen. It can be radically affirming and life changing. I know it was for me, um, for any of the performances and, and, and people that I have been changed by. And so I hope that just by continuing to be in some semblance of, you know, a public life that I will continue to be able to raise a new generation of people that don't have to search and scour the internet to find some semblance of life that they belong in our industry and belong there. So thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and uh, thank you for this platform and for working towards inclusivity and letting me be a part of it. I really appreciate it. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. Congrats to all the nominees this year. And thank you to everyone for joining with us virtually this year to celebrate the nominees for lead performer in a musical haze. It has been our pleasure to be with you in this virtual space. Thanks again for joining us. Congratulations to all the nominees. We so appreciate all everyone coming together tonight. Don't forget to mark your calendars for Friday, September 25th, 7 p.m for the virtual event that we will culminate the Helen Hayes Awards season with. So we'll see you then. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye, Thank beautiful. You. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Love y'all. Thank y'all. <laughs>